Hi everyone, Jim White from Dell and Vice Chair of the EdgeX TSC to give you a refresh demo on EdgeX Foundry based on the Delhi release, which has been made available just before the 2018 end of year. It's been a while since we provided a complete demo and I thought I'd give you all a state of the EdgeX briefing along with this video um, just to give you some background on where we're at and where we're headed. For those not familiar with EdgeX Foundry, it's an open source effort microservice based software platform for edge or IoT computing. It's managed by the Linux Foundation and it has over 70 companies participating in its development. The platform is made available under Apache 2 license, which means it's very business friendly, allowing you to create new commercial and or open source IoT solutions from the platform, which is our goal to enable and encourage growth and innovation in edge computing solutions with EdgeX. So how does EdgeX work? Well, a collection of microservices called device services are written to speak a particular sensor protocol and ingest data from sensors and relay that data to what we call the core data microservice. There, data is persisted at the edge. That sensor data is also then sent on to our EdgeX export distribution microservice, where it is filtered, transformed, and generally made available to any cloud enterprise or on-prem solution that wants and needs that sensor data. It is also made ready for the EdgeX rules engine or local analytics, where EdgeX can turn sensor data into low level intelligence. For example, it can determine if a temperature reading is too high. And if so, it communicates with the device to shut down that particular device that may be sensitive to that temperature reading. The local analytics does this through the command microservice and potentially other device services. Those other device services speaking an alternate protocol from which the original sensor data may have been ingested. In essence, EdgeX is a dual transformation engine. The device services, what we refer to as the south side services in EdgeX, speak multiple protocols and translate sensor and device data to a common EdgeX format for local short term persistence. From there, the collected IoT data set is transformed to any other number of formats by the export services for communication to your cloud, your enterprise, or other intelligence harvesting systems where data can then be turned into information that can be acted on, or what we call actuated. EdgeX believes in polyglottism. Use the technology that best meets your IoT edge needs. Today, most of the EdgeX microservices are written Go, but some are still written in Java and C and C++. In this demo, you'll also see a simple user interface that was written in JavaScript. MongoDB is used to persist the EdgeX information, but with the Delhi release, you can also use Redis as a replacement in some places. In fact, we're working towards our next release, Edinburgh, which will allow any database to be used. Okay, enough talk. Let's see EdgeX in action. In this demo, I'll show you how EdgeX microservices are distributable. In this case, the bulk of EdgeX running on a single Intel platform, but with one device service running on a Raspberry Pi 3. I'll also show you how data from multiple sensors speaking quite different protocols can be ingested and how a local rules engine in EdgeX can detect particular sensor events and trigger another device. Finally, all the data collected is simultaneously being formatted and sent to a cloud system, in this case, a cloud MQTT topic. The equipment I'm using is a Dell XPS running Ubuntu desktop 18.04 to host the bulk of my EdgeX services. I also have, as mentioned, a Raspberry Pi 3 to run a specific device service, demonstrating the distributed nature and the platform independent nature of EdgeX, in this case, running on Intel and ARM and on multiple OSs. Connected to EdgeX, I have an SM SNMP protocol PatLite signal tower, easy enough for me to say. This device provides the means to visually see EdgeX perform sensor data detection and actuation. I also have a Modbus Comet Systems thermostat reporting temperature to EdgeX via RS-232 to my EdgeX laptop. Not shown on the screen is that I also have EdgeX connected to an MQTT topic for receiving temperature data from some anonymous device. And finally, I have a simple moisture sensor that is connected to my Raspberry Pi 3 and its GPIO pins. I can use these sensors to detect my environment 
and trigger the pat light to give me a visual indication of what's happening in my environment. So in this first demo, I'll put data through the MQTT topic connected to EdgeX via MQTT device service. The MQTT device service allows EdgeX to receive and act on data from a variety of systems or devices. In this example, if EdgeX sees a value of over 100 degrees coming from the MQTT device service, it will trigger the pat lights buzzer alarm. Let's watch. In this next demo, I apply cold water to the Modbus temperature sensor. When the temperature reported from that sensor is greater than 20 degrees, it leaves the yellow pat light on, which is the current or default state. When the temperature goes below 20 degrees Celsius, EdgeX will detect this and turn on the pat light green light. It'll also turn off the yellow light. In this last sensor demo, I put my moisture sensor into water. Another device service on the Raspberry Pi 3 is monitoring that and detecting when there is moisture. So when it reports moisture to the rest of EdgeX, the rules engine flashes the pat light's red light. A demonstration user interface was added with the daily release. This UI helps developers and users see and manage sensors and devices connected to EdgeX. Visualize the sensor data coming into EdgeX and offer some ability to change the operational configuration of EdgeX. So you've seen how EdgeX handles the communications from four different sensor device protocols and allows them to interoperate and communicate with each other via EdgeX. While simultaneously, having EdgeX getting that data from all those sensors up to a cloud provider. There are even more features like new security and system management functions that come with the Delhi release that I don't have time to show you today. The EdgeX community is hard at work on the Edinburgh release scheduled for April 2019. Currently, we anticipate this release will be our version 1.0. We hope to have support for binary data like images or audio, more connectivity, and even the start of a certification program. I'll leave you with a few important links for the EdgeX project. Whether you're looking to start learning more or care to join us in our development effort, you should find it in one of these links. Hope this video has helped you get a glimpse of the current disposition and direction of the EdgeX Foundry project. Again, my name is Jim White. Let me know if I or the EdgeX community can help you in your IoT efforts.